Well, hey, Gemini. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Gemini, we're going to go ahead and start with some oracles, and then we're going to go right into the tarot. So let's go ahead. Let's get an oracle card for Gemini. This is going to be you. I'm going to use the key oracle. And I like the fact that the key is on it because it's like solutions, that type of thing. <laughs> You know, finding solutions to your problems, right? So um, let's get some advice from the key oracle. This is going to be for Gemini. Okay, that popped out. At the bottom of the deck, we do have timing. So it says patience is needed. And I know a lot of you guys don't want to know anything about waiting. You guys feel like you've waited for far too long. Here it says, be mindful not to rush or push your agenda at this time. Trust in divine timing and less, uh, less instant gratification. And this is not saying that you guys have instant gratification, but it's just saying in general, the seeds have been planted. Let things unfold in its time, okay? Now let's get your card here. You guys had the humanitarian service. So I do feel like you guys most likely, so you, this could be in your career. Um, this could be about you guys at this, at this point, you know, being more humane towards yourself. But let's read it. It says your soul longs to joyfully serve. Well, okay. <laughs> being of service is a huge calling that is honorable and satisfying. It says serve with grace and humility to assist those that cannot help themselves. Now, I, you know, that's all fine and good. But, you know, I go off my own intuition with this. And I just feel like a lot of you guys just give so much. Um, and, you know, maybe, you know, at this point, you're kind of like, I give, 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 but I'm not getting anything in return. And this is the reason why you guys are losing patience. Now, I'm, I'm still going to tell you, continue to be you. Because I feel like you guys are going to be rewarded based off of what you've done. Now, this is not saying going out and, you know, you know, serve other people when, you know, you're you're you don't have yourself. But this is help where you can <clears throat> with your family. Even it doesn't have to be strangers. OK, so just keep that in mind. But more importantly, what I'm saying, I feel like the patient needed is really your card. OK, that is really your card. That's what I'm saying, because a lot of you guys are waiting and have been waiting for partnership, that type of thing, and, and it hasn't happened. Some of you guys have been waiting on your finances to improve, uh, but it definitely will. So we're going to go ahead and get three more cards. This is going to be Oracle, and this is going to be, the last one is going to be for your money, and the other two could be for whatever. So let the first two, rather. This is going to be for Gemini. Let's see, this is for Gemini. <laughs> And the last one, my answers. Thank you. All right. So let's see. Last one here was your finances. And it just talks about being unclear. I feel like you guys are unclear about a lot of things in your life. This is not just about your money. Um, but your money might be might be a little tight right now. Okay. Yeah. Be cautious about spending your money. Now, I said that these two are definitely talking about, um, you know, just life in general. You know, this just has something to do with um, not wasting your time and your energy on people who don't deserve it. And then here with retail, um, it just talks about saving um, your energy. I just feel like this has something to do with being a little frugal <laughs> when it comes down to your finances. Please don't overspend. But more than anything, this talks about caution when it comes down to your finances and caution when it comes down to take your people taking advantage of you. So that's what I'm seeing with those three cards. So let's just talk about it here. Patience is needed. Divine timing is definitely at play here. A lot of you guys are very unclear when it comes down to your love life. Some of you guys are even unclear when it comes down to your finances. Here it just talks about don't just be burning money. But more than anything, this also talks about um, not being wasteful when it comes down to your energy and time with dealing with people. So we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to use some oracles here. We want to see how that's going to play in your reading here, Gemini. Let's um, use some tarot, rather. <clears throat> Let's get the tarot. This is going to be for Gemini. Okay. First card that came out was the King of Wands. Wow. Four of Cups. Eight of Wands. There is going to be some type of communication with someone. I feel that you haven't talked to in a while. And I also feel traveling. 
some of you guys are a little sad that you're you're not with your person at the moment, especially if you guys could actually be together, but you guys are not together physically. Um, so I do see a little sadness because there's some distance here. And for some of you, this does have something to do with you being separated from your partner. Um, you know, I think, and it looks like here with the King of Wands, this is the divine masculine that's fulfilling some kind of way that they are not really in communication with you. So I do see here with the Eight of Wands, there is going to be some communication. And for others, I really do see communication that's going to bring you guys together because there could be some distance you know, you guys have grown apart or haven't talked in a while, but I see traveling to see each other. That's what I'm saying. Let's go ahead. Let's get the last card here for Gemini. Thank you. Yeah, here with the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, so here with the Strength card, I feel like you guys are separated. Now, this is for those who are not with their person at all physically, you know, or even emotionally, you guys haven't talked. I just feel like here with the Eight of Cups, you guys are trying to move on from rejection. You guys really look like, like really fail for someone. Someone was very you know, attractive, you know, they could have their own business, that type of thing, but something calls this disruption. Um, you know, this is a really good cycle for love that's going to come up for you. But like I said, I feel like you could be dealing with other people, but there's no spark. There was something about this king or this, this queen that you guys were dealing with. And, um, there was just this huge spark with them right now. This is also a future read. I feel like you're separated from your person right now. There's going to be other people trying to vie for your attention and you just not on the feeling just because you still have emotional attachment to someone in the past. That's what I'm saying. Now let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is going to be for Gemini. Okay. That popped over. Gemini here. Okay. Yeah. There is a lot of sadness here. A lot of regret. Yeah. Cause something ended and you didn't want it to. And you have not, y'all are not seeing your person right now. This is for those who are actually with their person. You guys are separated. And for those who are actually in love with someone and you guys are just not together at all. There is a lot of sad, sadness here and disappointed energy um, because you are really feeling this person. I'm also feeling this from the masculine as well, but they are going to return. We got the fool card here. Will of Fortune things going in your direction right <clears throat> here, right above Um Right below, rather, the Eight of Wands is the Wheel of Fortune. Things going in your favor. Yeah, but the thing is, it just looks like whoever you're dealing with is just very much concerned about money. It just seems like this person, um, maybe they make you feel like they don't have enough time for you. Uh, I do feel like this person is in love with you. So maybe this is going to take this person a little time to realize how much they love you. Because here we saw divine timing. I just feel like it's not time yet, but I don't feel like this person doesn't love you. I do see that this person does have regret and have feelings. This is them um, from what I'm seeing here. Your person really does have some emotions and feelings. I'm going to clarify a few cards. Let's go ahead and clarify this King of Wands. You guys have more than one option as well, but you're really not feeling someone who's going to try to talk to you. You really want someone else. Yeah, this king is thinking about you. And I do feel like eventually they are going to communicate. That's what I said before. But they still have some growing up to do. That's the thing. It's like they're fearful of how they feel, um, but they can't leave you alone. Okay. <laughs> they're still playing games. Let's get this eight of wands. You guys haven't talked in a while. Let's get the inner lines here for Gemini. And this is what's making it unclear. You don't know if you should move on, that type of thing. Yeah, so I do see that the person who will be communicating with you, they're watching you as well. <clears throat> Let's get this death card. Let's get the five of cups. Five of cups. Yeah, this person is still holding on to you. They're thinking about you a lot. Your past person is heavy in your energy and they have a lot of regret. What did they do? This person has heavy regret. This is future. So something that they may have already done or something that they may even do in the future that's going to cause them to feel so much regret. Let's get this death card. Let's see if that, this will tell me. Death card for Gemini. Let's see. <clears throat> I feel like it's just, yeah, look at this. They were, look like they were juggling their emotions. 
Okay, there could have been other people involved. Maybe they were dealing with other people. But it does look like <clears throat> it does look like there was a third party. That's what it looks like. Some of you guys were actually in long term and they were dealing with somebody else on the side. But someone has heavy regret. Mm, let's get the Wheel of Fortune. They can't stop thinking about you. Wheel of Fortune. And in, in due time, this person is going to come in here. Your money is going to be really good. Your money is going to be really good. Ace of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. And I see you guys getting a lot of attention for your work and what you're doing. Okay. Let's get the Five of Swords here for Gemini. Five of Swords. Five of Swords for Gemini. Thank you. Yeah. So I do feel like this person is thinking about you and they will be returning. Um, but just be careful with this person. I don't really trust them. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't really trust what they're doing. Um, they're gonna leave you feeling very uncertain a lot. And this is not gonna stop just once. So this is the reason why it's telling you just be cautious, okay? Um, I think this kind of was almost the same reading or energy that I felt for Virgo. Just be very cautious, okay? Because just be if you if you want to deal with this person, you can, but I still feel some funny business. But I do see that they're gonna come back in here. So this is what I have for you, Gemini. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye guys.